dermatological examination divides into three parts. First of all, I think we need to look into the individual lesions and just look at the individual morphology. Secondly, then we need to look into the arrangement of the lesions. And lastly, the distribution of the lesions. We should, if we can, examine the skin fully because uh, we appreciate the distri distribution of the lesions and you may find some new pathognomonic lesions in hidden places. Now we turn to Diane. She is now lying comfortably on the couch in good light. And I've examined her fully just now. What I'm going to do now is to show you the sequence uh, of my approach. First of all, I would like to examine uh, the hands, followed by the upper limbs, right up, right up to the neck. And then I'd like to examine her face, including the scalp, followed by the chest and abdomen. And then I'll go on to the lower limbs, starting from the foot upwards. After having done that, I would like her to turn around, and then I would like to look at her back and the, the back of the legs. Now I would like to demonstrate the physical signs on Diane's arm. Um, as you can see from this angle, there are a few erythematous uh, macules and papules over here. They are well defined and there is a very fine scale. On the background of uh, atrophy as exemplified by there are few red purplish looking dots here. We blanch them, they are not blanchable. Therefore, they are purpura and if you look carefully, there are quite a number of visible small blood vessels, the so-called telangiotasia. The orders are the side effects of a previous steroid therapy. Now we come to the lower limbs. Uh, first of all, I think it's important to appreciate the symmetry of the condition. She has uh, lesions on both sides of the legs. There are on uh, numerous, again, well-defined erythematous, many macular lesions uh, on the front of the chins, on the background of atrophy. In addition to that, we also have quite a number of bruising or ecchymosis over here, and they're due to uh, minor trauma that she had. Again, this is a reflection of the steroid therapy that she had in the past.